you doing, Marcus Conti? The proof of life today, Marcus Conti. Sole plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY, awaiting an appeal, the answer to an appeal at New York Supreme Court, Pell Division, First Department, New York City. Case number 101058. So, uh, my concern today is, is this, okay? Just proof of life. It's, uh, Stephen Hawkins died on Einstein's birthday. <laughs> the self proclaimed genius. But, um, yesterday we saw kids out in the street walking out. They're walking out, they're rebelling. Oh no, the children are rebelling. The children. <laughs> Dear, the children are rebelling. What are they rebelling? It's good to rebel, but what are they rebelling? They're walking out on on, on gun guns. Okay. Okay. I get you. But where were you when where were you when the election was rigged? Where were you when 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 the Democrats stole stole the primary? <laughs> Democracy. When they stole our democracy, where where was everybody? What I want to uh, what I want to point out is gaslighting, right? You have to roll the clock back, the calendar back to about 2015 and a half, right? And you saw the the beginnings of what would become the the rigged 2016 Democratic primary. Forget about the general election, right? Forget about that. What we have now is, if you look on the, my sources, I don't have, look, I don't, I don't have time to, to look at every, every statistic and every fact, but my sources tell me that the Democrats are now running, they're running operatives, they're running CIA operatives and people with intelligence backgrounds. You just saw Mike Pompeo, CIA director, become Secretary of State, right? Now Trump, oh, I did it. Oh, it's my guy. I point. I put. I picked him. I picked him. Right? Did he pick him? Hell no. So now you have the CIA director in the in the in the seat of where Hillary Clinton used to be. Right? So now there, <laughs> the CIA director is now is now the Secretary of State, and the Democratic Party is actively running to the tune of 40% of their candidates running CIA operatives. This is 1984. This is, this is the, the, uh, because they can't win, they can't win the argument. They lost the, <clears throat> the Russian bullshit narrative, right? The fake news, they lost the media narrative, right? They lost it. No one believes them. CNN has a lot of polling about, you know, Less than 10% of the population, like 9% approval rating. <laughs> it's like, it's fake news, right? So, but deep state controls those stations, right? And they, they, they can force feed it because there's still enough, like I said, there's still enough ignorant people in the world that'll believe it. If you say Russia, Russia, Russia 25 times, people may not, they won't believe the whole story and they don't have to. But all they have to do is say, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe Russia. Yeah, it was like, probably, it's probably, yeah, yeah, Trump probably has something to do with that. Russia, Russia, I don't even know why. And what, Russia, Russia, what, Russia, the people? Russia, the government? Russia, the, 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 <laughs> so stupid. Right, so, so you have, uh, you know, the, the incredible gaslighting campaign to keep telling the lie over and over again until people stop believing it. We are now in 2018, ahead of the Democratic fake primaries across the country to install their pick, right? Because the Democratic primaries are fake, right? They're fake. So, right now they're doing what Noam Chomsky has always said, that they're manufacturing consent to install Oh, yeah, they have uh, intelligence backgrounds. Intelligence background means they're intelligent, right? So, they're, they're actively manufacturing the consent 
and continue to promote the, the, the Russian narrative. It's, a, it's you know, it's, it's, it's a hijacking of democracy is what it is, right? Because then they'll, because they're, they were able to rig a, you know, they lost, the, they dropped the ball on them on, on running click against Trump. They dropped the ball this time, they get more aggressive. And now it's more out in the open with the, with the you know, the deep state, how they're operating. They don't even care anymore. They don't even care about your vote. All they care about is, is consent and then, so that there's no civil disobedience, so that people, after the election is stolen and their candidates are appointed, that there's no, you know, the police state. Stop bashing heads. I'll break a couple of heads, you know. Break a couple of heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guns. 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 Yeah, get outside. Protest guns. But don't pay attention to the rigged elections and the fact that democracy doesn't exist anymore in our country. This is what's called gaslighting. This has been going on now for... I, I, okay, people are going to argue 30 years. But I'm going to say that this current campaign to shift the narrative away from the DNC and the Democratic Party rigging the election and getting caught and blaming Russia and now trying to trying to pretend that, that none of that actually happened, that they're still the party of, that they are a party of integrity or, or, or for the people and, right? That's gaslighting. It's not true. So, that's all for now. Don't be gaslighted. Don't be gaslighted. Speak the truth, even if your voice shakes.